Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also Bing. on Instagram at <laughs> Sidley Twins. And you can also find us on X. I haven't done that in a while. No. Hit you in the head to mimic the bell. Yes. Richard Eden from the Daily Mail broke this story. He's got an exclusive. Let's see what it's all about. Extra, extra. Harry and Meghan buy a holiday home in Europe after Charles asked them to give up their British base Frogmore Cottage Richard Eden exclusive. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were evicted from their cottage at Windsor by King Charles, they were left without a home in this country. <laughs> the California-based couple have, however, ensured that they retain a foothold on this side of the Atlantic. The Daily Mail understands that Prince Harry and Meghan have bought a home in Portugal. They are not the only royals who have had a Portuguese property. Harry's cousin, Princess Eugenie, and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, owning a home at the Costa Terra Golf and Ocean Club, a luxury development of 300 properties by the sea in Malides, south of the Portuguese capital of Lisbon. Mr. Brooksbank, 38, works in marketing and sales for Costa Terra. He, Eugenie, 34, and their two sons, August, 3, and Ernest, 16 months, split their time between Portugal and London. We definitely need to keep all that in mind. We need to keep Costa Terra in mind. And we also are going to put a link to a video that we did a while ago about why we think Megan even had a connection with Eugenie back in Toronto. Yeah. We also need to keep Jack in mind and his shady past being a bartender. And there's nothing wrong with being a bartender, but a bartender moving up the ranks to be the husband of one of the princesses of the realm is very strange to me. It might happen and it, and it did, but let's move on. And there's a picture of Princess Eugenie and Jack also own their Portuguese property. I think this was their Christmas card last year. I'm not sure 100%, but here's just a shot. Now, I remember hearing somewhere that they now primarily stay in London. They mm -hmm. don't spend as much time in Portugal. Well, they said after the king's diagnosis that they decided to spend the majority of their time in London. And her mom having cancer Absolutely. As well. The purchase of the home in Portugal may have allowed the Sussexes to acquire a so-called golden visa, under which they would have a visa-free access to the European Union's Schengen area. This could have been a major attraction to Megan, who is a U.S. citizen. When the couple got engaged in November 2017, Kensington Palace said Megan would apply for British citizenship in due course. Yeah, we were holding our breath for that one. Yeah, she also said she would work. <laughs> After Harry and Meghan moved to North America and quit royal duties in 2020, Frogmore Cottage was leased to Eugenie and Mr. Brooksbank until 2022. The Sussexes are known to be close to Eugenie and Mr. Brooksbank, who featured in their 2022 Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan. We suspect August was masquerading as Betty. Well, when you allegedly, have, when you have collateral on someone and you, you can blackmail them, usually, yeah, they're not going to say no to a Netflix doc. No, they're going to dive right in. Last year it was reported that the Sussexes enjoyed a romantic three night break in Portugal after attending the Invictus games in Germany. Do you guys remember that? They like, hopped on a plane after being in Dusseldorf and I they remember. went straight to Portugal because <laughs> they had worked so hard. They had worked so hard that week. You could see the sweat on their oh, brows. Man. She put in her uh, finest short shorts culottes. and uh, went straight to Portugal for some R&R. &R. Couple are said to have flown from Dusseldorf to Lisbon before traveling an hour south to Melides in a mega secret operation. A source close to the Sussexes confirmed that they had been to Portugal. How is that a super mega secret operation when we heard about it? The day they flew out of Dusseldorf. Yeah, they told us. I mean, that's not mega secret. That's not like Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. Jose Santos, head of Alentejo Tourism Board, confirmed that the Sussexes had enjoyed a short stay at the Costa Terra. That is where Eugenie 
and Jack supposedly own a place and he also works for Costa Terra. We have no idea how many people linked to cinema, royalty, arts, design, and fashion visit us precisely because they value direct travel, which is something they find in Alentejo like nowhere else in Europe, he said. Wow, now you can say this ad. sounds like an Okay, now this is sounding like an ad for something. This does not sound like a breaking story. This sounds like they're advertising this Costa Terra thing. Yeah. Am I, mean, I wrong here? You are definitely not wrong. Okay, I haven't read this, but I, I could imagine. Costa Terra Golf is owned by uh, a company founded by Mike Meldman, one of George Clooney's business partners, in tequila firm Casamigos. Mr. Brooksbank previously worked as a brand ambassador for Casamigos. What are the odds? The Sussex's main home, yeah, we all know it's Montecito. They were contacted for a comment, none whatsoever back. Now we all remember when Jack was a brand ambassador for Casamigos. We all remember that Megan <laughs> invited the Clooney's for some insane reason to her wedding. She yeah. didn't invite any other family members, no one. but they showed up. <laughs> and Amal was at her baby shower in New York. So we know there is a connection with the Clooney's. It's a very artificial connection. Yes. <laughs> As of today, George Clooney, Randy Gerber, Cindy Crawford's husband, and Mike Meldman have sold Casamigos. Mm -hmm. But Mike still owns Costa Terra Golf Club. Mm -hmm. Now let's remember when Jack was the ambassador for Casamigos. He was pictured in Capri with, and I'm just saying this because it happens to be a boat, allegedly yacht girls. And when I say yacht girls, this is the true meaning of yacht girls because these women actually were models at one time. They now have like jewelry lines, well, they, careers. When we say yacht girls, they're just ones. I mean, they're, they're they send in their resumes. There's an audition process to do this. Yes, they're yacht girls. They're hired. Yeah, they're hired yacht girls. Good luck explaining these photographs to you, Janine. Jack Princess's husband is spotted on boat in Capri with three glamorous women, including topless model, while wife is stuck at home with the baby. Now, obviously, he was there on work. He was taking pictures for the brand. It was all going up on these models' Instagram pages. And that's how Casamigos and other brands, that's how they get the word out. You know, oh, this is a fun brand. This is Maria Bucciolati. She has a pretty popular Instagram page. But if you ever seen like Tinder Swindler, it's like that kind of page. She's always you know, in Europe somewhere, either on a yeah, boat or a at a girl. nice restaurant. And she also has a line now where it's sustainable. We all have to use those words now, those buzzwords. And she sells jewelry and just, you know, stuff like that. But she used to be a model. She's a mercher now. Eugenie didn't really throw a fit. I don't remember this being a huge story. He I just, <laughs> he probably called in and went, honey, it's a work thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and she's like, okay, I get it. To Americans, this can look really strange, but in Capri, this is very normal for w women to be topless on a boat and, uh, I don't know, selling tequila. So let's talk about Michael Meldman, who owns the golf resort that supposedly Jack and Eugenie own a house and that Harry and Meghan visited mm -hmm. and loved it so much because they went away for three days after <laughs> Dusseldorf <laughs> and now they want to buy a home there. He is an American businessman. He's the founder and chairman of Discovery Land Company and one of the three founders of Casamigos. Now, George Clooney was actually eyeing a place at Costa Terra. And he wanted, you know, he didn't actually go through with it. But at the time when they were all owners of Casamigos, he was saying, hey, maybe I should move to Portugal, too, <laughs> to push this brand that's no. not doing so well. <laughs> Luckily, they were able to sell it. No harm, no foul. But something happened. I think people just realized it was a cheap tequila. No, I don't he know. Was, he was, he, this is an ad, too. He wasn't really going to buy something in Costa Terra. He was just, oh, yeah, helping let's his get the, friend. He was Mike. helping his friend sell something. Yeah. And he, he's not, he was never going to buy anything on a golf 
Ocean Club Resort where there's <laughs> other people there. The reason I keep bringing up Mike Meldon is obviously Jack and Eugenie are close to this person. He hired him for Casamigos. He hired him for Costa Terra. And now Harry and Meghan are wanting to live in Portugal or have a holiday home. They might have already purchased. We don't know. We don't know factually. Now, here is my theory, and then we'll go with Stephanie. <laughs> my theory is doing business in Portugal hmm. is a lot cheaper than doing business somewhere else. Of course. Now, there's actual incentives. So if they wanted to move and actually merch stuff like they want to do in America, America has rejected them. America has rejected Megan's brand. Right. If they wanted to go do a venture like that, why not move to a place that has incentives for Americans? Doing business in Portugal is a pathway into Europe for many U.S. companies. In 2018, tech giant Google announced that it would be opening offices in Portugal. Amazon also announced plans for an office, which is now located in Lisbon. So we've got Google and Amazon, two of the most left of center companies is cheaper there. moving to Portugal. Right. That makes sense why Harry and Meghan would want to get a jump on that because they want to be in bed with Google and Amazon yeah. because that way they can start working with their whole censorship program. Right. It does make sense. There's also tax incentives and the U.S.-Portugal tax treaty. The United States and Portugal signed a tax treaty in 1994. The U.S.-Portugal tax treaty allows citizens of both countries to avoid double taxation on their income. In addition to this treaty, Portugal offers many tax incentives for global companies, even if you're not doing business or residing in Portugal. But that's always like, that's like sort of the old joke. It's like, where's all your money? Oh, I transferred it all to my Swiss bank account. That's the old joke. It's like, yeah, Bahamas. this is the smart thing to do if you are a huge company like Google or Amazon and you want to put money somewhere else that that is not going to kill you with taxes. And we know America is all about taxes. Yes, we have the highest taxes especially ever. Especially California. Especially California. But I'm saying, yeah, it's a smart business move. I think they've been found out with the Delaware grift, you know, incorporating all their companies in Delaware. I think they've probably exhausted their resources with yeah. Doria. And I think Portugal might be the place where I, they can do a new grift. I really do, that's Stephanie. Your yeah, my theory is different. What's yours? I just have a different theory. I think they're, they're never going to be, I appreciate what you're saying. They're never going to be as big as Google or Amazon or George Clooney or no. this Mike fella. Um, I think that Costa Terra went to uh, different people and different people are doing an ad. And I don't think Harry and Megan are going to actually buy a place on this resort. I think that they are getting paid. This is a pushback and they um, are doing uh, merch. I agree with you on that too. That makes sense as well because places like Costa Terra attract people it's by tourist. saying so-and-so lives here. And if he couldn't get George Clooney to move there or no. anybody else, <laughs> Get Harry and Meghan to move there. <laughs> say we have royalty here. That's what I think. You're right. It is an ad. No, I'm no, but they're not going to actually do it. Like George Clooney was never going to actually yes. move there. But Nancy, you did read earlier in the in the article that they plugged the head of the tourism board. Mm -hmm. So Costa Terra is only going to make their money with tourists. Yes, they're not going to make. They could care less if George moves there or Harry moves there. They just want the press. They want these articles, and then people go, "Wait a second, I'm going to Google this place. Wow, honey, look how nice this is." Yeah. And Harry's considering moving there. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. In my opinion: Harry and Meghan got paid to do this ad. They're hard up for money. We, uh, in my opinion, allegedly, allegedly, I think that they're broke. Nothing's going to launch on her end. In, in America. In America. And who knows what that cooking show is going to do. We know the polo documentary is not going to do well. <laughs> no. But I'm just saying it's like they're taking jobs. These are odd jobs here and there. Yeah. The Kardashians do them all the time. Oh, it's, yeah. just, it's just Nancy and I right now, they're not making our radar as much. Harry and Meghan are making our yeah, radar. Yeah, this is classic. Kardashian. Classic Kardashian. We so, actually did an episode. We'll put that in the description okay. below too, where we did a whole thing on how Kardashians make money going yeah. on vacation and merching resorts yeah. that's like one of their things so who wrote this again richard eden i don't know who that is he's, but he definitely he's really good. Yeah. 
Well, I understand that, but it, it sounded like an ad to me. It, it to does. Stephanie Sidley. Now, what might have happened was he got an exclusive from some source of Harry and Meghan, and that's he wanted to run the ad. I mean, it's better than nothing. I mean, hey. You run know, an but, ad. Yeah, but you did call me. I was I was heading home from the spa and she calls me and she goes, <laughs> she goes, dude, when you get home, we got breaking news. I'm not kidding. I thought the split happened. <laughs> I would have I I'm would've, not kidding. I I would have texted you 911. No, 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 but I'm just in my head, I'm thinking, <laughs> wait, what? Let's do a thesis on the Kardashians. And this is a playbook out of the Kardashians. It, it, yeah, it really reminds They're me. They're not moving to Portugal. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Today's animal rescue is Paws Place Dog Rescue. They are located in North Carolina, and they are dedicated to rescue, rehabilitation, and adopting dogs out. Little tiny place, and they need our help, so I'll put their link in the description below. Please pass them on to friends and family. It does help Paws Place Dog Rescue. We should do a, a little animal charity in Portugal for those poor people that had to read this today and go, oh, they're coming. <laughs> Winter yeah. is coming. Oh my gosh. They're on their way. Shut uh, the doors. I just, hide your kids. Hide your wives. I just think they don't have any other place to go. I think that they have no money, in my opinion. And they did an ad. Yeah. A beautiful little ad wrapped up in a bow. Yeah. I can't stop thinking of Costa Terra now. <laughs> don't go. Yeah, don't wrong. go. Your boyfriend calls and goes, we're going, honey. Oh, God, no. I'd say no. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. We will see you very Bye, soon. Bye. Love you.